Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be doing a 20th birthday get ready with me. lie this is gonna be the most chill get ready with me you were probably ever gonna watch because I'm inside like I'm not really doing much my birthday I'm literally going for dinner so I'm not doing like a full glam look I'm more so doing like an everyday get ready with me type of look but I wanted to film it just because I always film a birthday get ready with me and I like looking back on it I also get so many questions especially recently about my clothes about my nails about my jewelry about my hair about my makeup so I answer every single question in this video also yes this morning I did get McDonald's breakfast I mean it's my birthday birthday like you're talking to a 20 year old right now like I really should have stopped this at my big old age of 19 and like had toast downstairs but I woke up I was like it's your birthday like baby go treat yourself I can't believe I'm talking to you as a 20 year old I really feel like I am not gonna lie like, I'm not too tomorrow and horn here I feel like 20s is gonna be the glow up stage for me I really do like I finally got a bit of fashion sense I finally sorted out my hair before I'm 21 my Invisalign will be done which means I'll have perfectly straight teeth and basically I'm just gonna look so much better she really do be thriving at the moment we love this for me anyway i'm gonna get into this video i really hope you guys enjoy it's super super chill just maybe sit and get ready with me like that could be fun i'm gonna take you guys back to this morning when i look a little bit different i look 12 i've just woken up and you were talking to a whole ass 20 year old baby girl i'm 20 not really sure how i literally feel like my life is flashing before my eyes because it doesn't feel like a second since i was filming a what i got for my 14th birthday and in a couple of days i'm gonna be filming a what i got for my 20th birthday i really have been around on youtube for a long time wow how are you not bored of me yet you probably are let's be real i am vlogging my birthday and that's gonna be a different video but i just fancy doing like a little birthday get ready with me because honest to god i'm really not doing that much for my birthday i'm literally going for dinner i really don't want to be looking like this all day and i'm probably going to change outfits a million times because i have so many cute outfits and nowhere to wear them i'm going to sit and i'm going to do my makeup i'm going to use some new products we can do my hair i'm all bare face and ready to go i have got my makeup bag which is from my skinny dip collection link down below if you want to buy i would also normally be wearing the robe however it is currently in the wash i'm not really sure what to go for for my makeup today i think i'm just going to kind of do my usual everyday look but a little bit more coverage with lashes always start off with the best the clean and clear dual action moisturizer i've been using this again now for a while and as you can see my skin's kind of looking quite good at the moment also ignore whatever is going on on my neck because i used some tanning drops last night on my face and neck and they've actually just like destroyed my neck my face doesn't look any different but my neck just looks a completely different color and there's like a little hole here i've honestly not got a clue what's happened i actually got sent some new foundations yesterday in the post I have got the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation here. That one is way too dark at the moment. So I think I'm going to have to go for like a, maybe a mixture of these. Actually, maybe just... Oh god, I don't know. I have heard so much about this foundation in the last couple of days. Well, actually not in the last couple of days, the last couple of weeks. And I was thinking to myself, oh my god, I really... You know what? Why do I decide to get ready on my bed then? Because that has gone on my cushion you know what i'm really not sure what's going on with that i'm just gonna take a little bit out and put it on top of the pot this looks like a good shade but it really might not be so i guess we're just gonna oh oh yeah i've just heard a lot about this foundation so i'm really excited to try it i just don't feel 20 i don't think i'm gonna feel 20 until i move out and like actually adult i'm not really sure it's not, it's not a bad match i'm gonna have to blend it down my neck but it's definitely not a bad match i love this though this is a really nice coverage foundation i don't know if it's full coverage i said it's a bit more of like a medium coverage we're blending well but it's also weird because you guys have literally grown up with me like if you've been following me for however long i don't know like you would have seen me in the old house you would have seen me as floral princess maybe some of you have seen me as anastasia moshi because i get that a lot actually i get a lot of comments saying oh my god i've literally followed you for like eight years and then using my my collection last imperfection concealer somebody actually commented on one of my recent videos that they really wanted me to do like 24 hours as floral princess so i do all the old things that i used to do and i thought that's such a good idea the only thing is also i used to have blonde hair and i've looked at blonde wigs online and they're just not realistic so i feel like i can do everything other than the hair because there's no way i'm dying my hair back just for one video like i will honestly have no hair left my hair is finally in such like i don't want to say it's such a good condition but it's so much better compared to what it was i get so many questions all the time like are you going to stay brown are you going to go back blonde and honestly i don't think i'll ever go back blonde there was definitely a part of me where i was like 
like oh my god like i think i suit blonde more but now i've had brown hair for so long i just i've got really comfortable with it i'm just using my benefits hula bronzer when i was on holiday i was having a conversation with someone and they were like baby you suit blonde so much better and i was like really thanks and you know what like you've got yourself ready really nice and i was probably like not i was feeling myself actually yeah i'm feeling myself and they were like no you suit blonde so much better and i just sat there and thought really and then i said to byron and Hazel, i was like do you think i suit brown or blonde and they said no brown and i trust their opinion so we're going with sticking brown i just think it makes me look a little bit more older a little bit more mature i actually do want to go darker because my hair's faded a lot compared to what it was but like look at this hair growth compared to what it was this is all my natural hair because i used to wear clipping extensions all the time like especially when i first got my hair done so i was just like insecure about the length of my hair is not the right way to put it but i just felt so like uncomfortable because my hair was so damaged and then i I've recently been using the Garnier Banana Shampoo and Conditioner and Pantene. I've been using Pantene because I think it might have been Haz's a while ago. I used and I just loved it. My hair felt so silky, so smooth. And I was like, even if this doesn't do anything for hair growth, my hair just feels amazing. And like this morning, I literally haven't brushed my hair and it looks like this. Like, I'm not saying it looks like nice, but like, do you know what I mean? This is just so much better compared to what it was. We're going to move on to eyes. I'm using my Too Faced The Natural Nudes Born This Way palette. All my makeup is quite dirty. Honestly, this is just the most chill, get ready with me type thing ever because I'm not a beauty guru. Recently, I've been doing this kind of like brown eyeliner and I'm really enjoying doing it as well. So I'll show you how I do that. I just think it brings my whole look together. Like, it just makes me look more awake because my eyelashes go through stages sometimes they look really long and then sometimes they look really short and stubbly but when I have a little bit of brown eyeliner on my eyes just look more awake so the kind of like attention's taken off of my lashes all I do is get like either an angled brush or a flathead brush whatever and I actually just use the two darkest shades from this palette I am gonna have to go silent while I do this but Oh, how I manage that then? That's actually what I do. It literally takes me two minutes. I think it looks a lot less harsh compared to black eyeliner on me. I've also been getting so many questions about what mascara I've been using. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. Beautiful formula. And I love the brush as well. It takes a couple of layers, but it just makes my lashes look amazing. I'm not going to put as much on today because obviously I'm putting lashes on. But if I do like three coats of this, my lashes look so long, so so like black and separated. I love it when I find a good mascara. This is like good for a high end one. And then for a drugstore one, I would always go for Maybelline Lash Sensational. That is really good formula. Lashes, we are going for my absolute favorites. These are GWA in Fantasy Lashes. I don't know if these are the princess ones. I got so excited yesterday when I was opening a load of parcels and they sent me a stock up. And I've been literally thinking for so long, oh my God, I need to get myself to Primark so I can get some of these lashes. And they sent me some, so shout out GWA. You guys are legends. They're just really like natural lashes because I used to wear big lashes all the time I used to do loads of eyeshadow all the time and I don't understand how I did it because my eyes are like kind of small Well, it's not this small but like now if I do big eye makeup I just don't think it suits me I think I suit natural makeup so much more which I'm actually really happy about because for a while I went through a stage where I felt like I needed lashes all the time I felt like I needed so much makeup and now I'm just like a lot more comfortable without it it's definitely a journey with that because if you're going through that I promise you it's not going to last forever with social media and stuff it makes you feel like you need makeup all the time and at one point like how I looked 15 minutes ago i would never have shown on camera but now i just think why does it matter nobody looks all done up in the morning like nobody looks perfect and i just feel like i want to show the less perfect side of my life more so you guys can see that like my life isn't like that all the time i don't know i've just been having a real big think recently about like what i want to do and what i want to start showing and not show whatever and i just know that i want to be a little bit more not real because that's not the word because i have been real but i just want to show you the other sides that i wouldn't used to show anyway who knew putting lashes on could get so deep turns out my mascara hasn't actually dried yet but they're on once i've blended them and done my bottom lash mascara they're gonna look cute i also can't believe i'm doing my makeup on my bed not gonna lie i do this quite often like i'll just pop up like a film or documentary and just sit on my bed and get ready and that's bad like i'm learning that doing everything from my bed is not a good idea because i find it harder to sleep at night i'm excited for dinner though i'm not gonna tell you guys where we're going i have to wait for the birthday vlog but i'm gonna blend my eyelashes 
in. I am very happy with how this eye makeup look has turned out. I'm just gonna brush away all of my excess powder. For brows, I really don't do a lot, but I do use my Benefits 24 hour brow setter. This stuff is so good. I actually need to get another one because it's running out like at a rapid, rapid rate because I use it every single day. I just like to brush my hairs up. I don't really fill them in or do anything like that. I just don't think bold brows suit me, but I love just brushing the hairs up. But I was sent into our group chat the other night a video of my birthday last year and I have never looked so different in my life. Like it's not even just my hair colour, it's everything like my face shape, like I can't even explain. As he sent it in I was on FaceTime to Haz and we both just went, oh my god, like how do I look like that? I'm then using some MAC blush, this is the blush in flower power, bit of colour on my cheeks. I do tend to go a little bit overboard with the blush, I'm not going to lie, but then it does fade quite quickly. And then we're going on to highlight. I've got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlight. When my makeup doesn't look so matte and like it's settled into my skin a little bit more and my natural oils are coming through, this just makes my whole skin glow. And then I've also been going for a glossy lip recently instead of a matte, which is something new, but I really, really like it. And I've been using this MAC lip gloss in Please Me. It's a really beautiful shade. I think it brings my makeup look together so perfectly and I want to buy another one ASAP. I've recently been having my hair straight again which I kind of like. I like straightening it inwards just so it like shapes my face a little bit more just so it doesn't look as though I've just left it like for my bed hair because this is bed hair. This is literally what I do like on an everyday basis now. I really don't do much. I just think I suit natural makeup so much more. Obviously I have put lashes on but I just don't like wearing a lot anymore. Here's my birthday glam. I mean if I was going out I would look a lot a lot more glam. Maybe faux freckles could have been a cute moment. Maybe uh, do I pick an outfit first and then do my hair? No. No, I'll do my hair first. My hair is actually really greasy. I probably should have washed it last night, I'm not gonna lie. My hair also does this thing when it's greasy where it separates. Oh, Dry Jump Free to the Rescue, obviously always on brand. It is the Skinny Dip collab with Batiste and I'm just gonna... I might just leave it like that. Got some like Jack Frost vibes going on here. I wanted to film some TikToks and it involves flipping my hair and while my hair is greasy, I just don't know how capable I am of this. Lesson one, always wash your hair the night before your birthday. I was clearly just feeling lazy last night. <laughs> Honestly, even if I straighten it right now, I don't think much is gonna happen to it. Oh, just gonna get the front bits and just... We love to see it. I was watching so many tutorials on YouTube on how to do this because I know it's so self-explanatory. That's the best it's ever gone. Sometimes when you do it, it like curls too much smashed it let's try the other side because here's where i mess this side up whoever's on my side today up there in the sky i appreciate you oh my god we that one bit of a fail i'm just trying to use less heat on my hair really because i would absolutely love my hair to be longer and if i keep using heat it's not gonna happen okay but i'm not gonna lie this kind of looks sick though that was the quickest i've probably ever done my hair and now it's time to choose an outfit so outfit wise i'm kind of thinking these which are like these fun pleather trousers and they kind of like flare at the bottom and then i just don't know which hanger Ah, oh, here it is. I'm thinking this little like brown kind of like bikini type top thing from Motel could look cute. Not sure if I'll go to dinner in it, but to like film TikToks and like stay in now. Yeah, this is going to be such a cute outfit. Oh my God, let me put it on and then we can accessorize. <laughs> outfit is on. I did indeed change my trousers because they just weren't really looking right. I don't know. I might put black trousers on. I don't know yet. At the moment I have like this nude pair, but first I want to put my jewelry on, then my bag, and then we can decide if I'm going to change them or not. I'm actually not even going Going out in this top because I just don't feel like I can go out in this top in this weather. I always get loads of questions about my jewellery so I wear the same two rings every single day. I've recently just bought this one which I absolutely love and then this one is mine and Sass friendship ring. I also do have one that I wear that my mum bought me that's over there and then I also do have a thumb ring as well but I'm not going to wear that today. Then I have my Fendi bracelet which Saf actually bought me for my birthday last year and then recently I got these gold bracelets from Naked Fashion which I absolutely love and they're just like gold chains and I've been looking for some like like gold chain bracelets for the longest time and they just never suit me but these look really nice with the jewelry that I wear. I never used to be a jewelry girl but I'm honestly not even kidding in the last like three weeks I just seem to have had a bit of like a fashion glow up and I finally just worked out that I needed to sort my fashion out. It's not that I had bad fashion before but I just like I wanted to wear nice clothes but I didn't know how to match them together so I had the clothes in my wardrobe but I just always wear joggers because I felt more comfortable in joggers and finally I'm pushing the boat out and I'm actually going to leave the 
house in something other than joggers so here's my chosen jewelry i don't think i'm gonna wear a necklace with this just because it's kind of got this like detailing but here is the look also i love my hair like this now i used to hate my hair straight i don't know why i would just never straighten it i went through a phase where i would curl it all the time and now let me know what you guys think down below i think it makes me look a little bit more older and a little bit more put together and 20 where's my life going i don't know i just feel like it's like going but thank you guys for sticking with me on this journey if you've been here even if you've just found me thank you so much for watching like it's kind of cool that i get to grow up in front of a load of people and you get to grow up with me let me get my bag let me get some shoes on and i'll show you the outfit and then we can film some tiktoks and then we can decide i just don't know whether because i have black in this i don't know whether it's going to look better i wear black trousers and it could kind of like tie the outfit together you know what i've already decided i'm going to change into black trousers i think it will tie the outfit together and here's the finished look i could not be more obsessed with this look if i tried so the top is from motel rocks the blazer is weekday from asos and then the trousers are also asos they're like black flares i'm obsessed obsessed and then of course i've got my jewelry and then i've got my bag as well <gasps> guys you know what it might not be a dress it might not be dressed up but i think it looks kind of cute really can't film with this blaze around me like it just no thank you very very much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me get ready for my birthday if you want me to do more of these style get ready with me's then please do let me know because now i have a better fashion sense and now i just know a little bit more about what i'm doing i feel like i could do it i'm gonna go and eat some good food so look forward to my birthday vlog it's gonna be a very good vlog i'm excited for you guys to see it but other than that i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah.